So we've just received a package and this is our box of butterfly pupae. And these are the ones we're gonna be flying this year in the greenhouse. So let's go back to last week when I placed this order and we'll go through the whole process of ordering some butterfly pupae. We're gonna use the website butterflypupae.com which is for the company, The Entomologist. So before we start this, let's just make a couple of quick disclaimers. The first thing is that I am ordering these with my own money, they're not being given to me by the entomologist and the entomologist doesn't know that I'm placing this order. Um, I have ordered from them before but I don't think I'm receiving any kind of special treatment so we're going to get them as realistically as anyone would who ordered from here. This is purely just a review. Uh, and also just to make things fair we will be doing a similar video with another supplier Stratford Butterfly Farm just to compare and see how they both work out. So if you go onto their website, you need to go to Pupi to buy, which is in the top right hand corner. And then we can click through to the weekly list. And I'm recording this part of the video on a Friday morning, which is usually when the Pupi lists go up on the websites, usually around 10 a.m. to 12 noon. You should always place your order on a Friday because they do sell out quite fast and you'll then receive the delivery the following week, usually on a Tuesday or Wednesday. So with this particular supplier, you can order whether you're based in the UK or Europe. Obviously, if you're outside of Europe, you're not going to be able to order from these suppliers. So when you scroll down, you have an option of selecting the currency. Obviously, you select whichever currency is appropriate and it will adjust all the pricing for you. So firstly, as we scroll down, you can see we have all the mixes of pupae here. If you're just starting out and possibly you don't know which species you want to breed, and then this is the ideal opportunity to purchase a selection of pupae to find out what flies well in your flight area. They have mixes which vary depending on region and species. So for example, they have a heliconius mix. Well, there are also regional mixes such as Thailand or Asian or even deluxe Philippine mix. There are all kinds of different variations and tiers. And then as you scroll down further, you'll find all the individual species, which are grouped by family. So firstly, we have the Brassolidae family, which is the Caligos or the owl butterflies. And one thing you do need to bear in mind with these prices and the prices that are across the board on the other supplier websites is that they don't include VAT. So this is around 20% to add to the total of your price. So we are going to just look through the list, see what they've got, and then we'll place our order for the ones that we need. And that's for the 10 species that we've picked and the Morpho and the Caligo pupae. So next up, we have the Danadir family. Uh, this is the family which the monarch butterfly is in, Danus plexippus. And that's one of the species that we are looking for. So that's good to see that it's available. You can also see the paper kite, Idea Lucanoi, which is again another species that we're going to order. Next up, we have the Heliconids, the Heliconius family. This is probably my favourite family of butterflies. They're a really interesting collection of species and some of the best to use in greenhouses. The one species that we were looking to buy is the Zebra, Heliconius chavitonius. Uh, unfortunately, I don't see it available this week, but luckily I am breeding this myself in my own greenhouse. So we don't need to purchase this one and we can just use my existing stock. But it is around the same kind of price as the others. I'm sure it's around sort of £2.15 to £2.35. And one thing that's good with this supplier is they do list a lot of their Heliconia subspecies separately. So for example, you can see with Heliconia serrato, there are a few different subspecies here from different regions in Central and South America, and you can pick exactly which ones you want. And then we're on to the Athomidae family. The large glass swing Methona confusa is one that we're going to be ordering. So then we go on to the Morpho family and you can see this week there's just two types of Morpho that are available and we're going to go for the Coriolanus Helena species just purely based on the price. And now we have the Nymphalidae family and this is where a lot of your very common native butterflies will be from such as the small tortoise shell, painted lady, the peacock, all of those are from this family. Uh, and in this family you can see there is the clipper butterfly which is one that we've picked and they've got both the brown Philippine subspecies and the blue. And what we'll probably do is we'll just pick a few pupae of each form and just fly those and see how they do. 
We can also see that Ariadne Ariadne is available, which is another that we need to order. And then onto the Papilio family, which is where the swallowtails are from. We've got some really nice species here, some very unusual graphiums this week from Africa. There's five different ones there. Papilio thoas, which is a beautiful swallowtail, but unfortunately it doesn't do too well in the greenhouse. So they do have the Papilio rumens over here in stock, which is great because that's one that we need. And also the Papilio palinurus, the really nice emerald green swallowtail. And one that I didn't actually plan to order, but now that I've seen it, is Papilio demodorcus. This is a really lovely citrus swallowtail from Africa, and it's one that again isn't that commonly available on the lists. So we're going to add that into the mix and we're going to try and breed those. And then onto the Pyridae family, which is the whites and the yellows. And this is the family that you'll find uh, the cabbage white, large white in. And you can see they've got the orange tip Hepamoya glossipa in stock. So we're going to make sure we order those. And then finally, at the bottom of the page, they have the moths, the silk moths, such as Atticus atlas, the atlas moth, and quite a few other different species. And these are actually a really good price for the size of the adults and for what you're getting. Uh, they represent good value, but on this occasion, we aren't going to be ordering any moths for the greenhouse. So, as I said, you know, if you're anywhere within Europe, you can place your order on a Friday or over the weekend, and it'll usually be shipped out on Monday or Tuesday. Uh, if you're in sort of Eastern Europe, it might take a little bit longer for the couriers to get to you, but usually you're going to be receiving them sort of Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of the following week. So what we'll do now is we'll add those to the basket along with the Morphos and Caligos and we'll have a look at how much the total is. So we're only going to order five of anything that we're just going to fly. And for the ones we want to breed, we're going to order between six and ten of each. It really depends on the species and the price, but just to make it more affordable. And the only reason that you're wanting to go for these kind of numbers is to make sure that you're going to have at least a male and female hatch successfully and be able to pair because there's no guarantee you're going to get males and females in equal numbers you're just going to receive whatever is randomly picked out and shipped to you and obviously you know they're not all going to hatch perfectly we are going to hatch these out and look at the emerging rates but you should be expecting between sort of 75 to 100 percent emerging rate but usually it's around eight out of ten pupae that will hatch successfully and that's a reasonable kind of rate to aim for so we've got it all in our basket now and the thing to bear in mind with this website is there is no minimum order so you can order 10 15 pupae uh, and that's totally fine and this is quite a big order to be placed and you know you can see from the the total it's over 160 pounds including the shipping and the vat so we'll get these ordered we'll go through the checkout and in a few seconds time it'll be tuesday and i'll have the box and open it with you so here we are the box has arrived so let's open it up and see how the pupae are when you open it you'll see that the pupae are packaged in cotton and you'll have your delivery note in there as well just to see exactly what you've received so we'll peel back the cotton wool and check the pupae are okay And here you can see we have the Ariadne Ariadne, the Monarch Pupae, and Papilio Rumensovia, the Scarlet Mormon. So we'll lift those out and move on to the next layer. And on this one we have the Giant Glasswing, Mathona Confusa. The paper kite, Idea Lucanoi, the great orange tip, Hepamoya glossipa, Papilio demodorcus, the two forms of Parthenus sylvia, the clippers, and Papilio palinurus, the emerald swallowtail. And you can see that there are a few pupae which are just starting to colour up, where the wing patterns are beginning to show through the pupal skins. And then on to the final layer, which is the Caligo and the blue morpho pupae and these are usually always placed in the bottom of the box due to their bulk and weight so now we've got them all out we'll take a little bit of a closer look at the pupae and then we'll get them all hung up in the emerging box ready to hatch
This time we're just going to pin most of the pupae up in the emerging box and if you want to see a bit more about how to deal with pupae and how to hatch them I have done a dedicated video to that with all the information in there on the different methods and approaches you can take. So in this case we're just going to hang the pupae up using a pin through the silk pad. So let's get these hung up. Hopefully within a day or so we'll start to have some butterflies hatching. So there we go, they're all hung up and prepared. We've put a damp bit of cotton in the bottom of the emerging cage just to help with the humidity and we'll see how they do. So it's now the following morning after hanging these up and we've had our first two butterflies hatch, one of the paper kites and one of the citrus swallowtails, Papilodermidorcus. So next time we're going to be releasing some of these butterflies into the greenhouse. So I'll see you then. Mm -hmm.